Hey, my crafty friends, it's Miss Cecia. Welcome back to the channel. Um, this morning, I'm just going to come on real quick with a haul, Hobby Lobby haul. I've been doing a lot of resin projects, but I've also been shopping for different um, molds and different elements and things to try to um, change the look of certain um, uh, things that I'm working on. Just trying to alter some things and and maybe just utilize what I have to combine some things to make a finished product. And what I mean by that is, first I'll, I'll just jump into uh, what I have here. I've been working on some molds that I got and this particular mode right here is just the fondant mode that I got from Michaels it's just a small alphabet letter mode used for fondant cake making and I'm working on creating a beach scene so I have these little wood cutouts that I got from Dollar Tree. And I thought to myself, well, what can I do with these? And since I like, you know, the beach scene and, and the water and all that, I was like, okay, use my resin to maybe try to create something different. So that's what I did. I used this little fellow here. And then I made this. So let me move this to the side. And I'll show you. So all I did was I took some of my clear UV resin. I took some alcohol ink. Which is my favorite of the alcohol pearl and this is in the color envy so i wanted some different greens in that so i used that one and i used a little bit of the bria reese and this is an olive green and i used another yeah I use another green and this is in the color of Everglade so with these four I created this little sparkly gem and then I use real if you see real close I put some diamond dots for his little eyes and that comes in this product here diamond dots freestyle and the shade is the shade number is seven zero zero seven but it's a little gold little gold uh, color here so this is what I did real quick and I'm gonna demonstrate it here let me get something to protect my surface here. And I'll just use this scrap paper here. And I'll get back to the haul, but I just wanted to show this to you real quick. So, all I did was took a few drops of the alcohol ink here and you can put it wherever you you know wherever you want to add your color and this one I just wanted it to be like green and then I'm gonna just add some drops here And I know this one is not going to look like the one that I have here. Uh, but 
I just wanted to show you the process of how I did this little fella here. So you're going to let that dry. And I may not need to use... I may not need to use this one, but let's see if I put a drop in the middle. Yeah. So, let me zoom in on this so you can see. Okay. And I have a little mini UV nail lamp. That I got from uh, Amazon. And so that's what I'm going to use to coat the, um, the resin. So we'll go back out. Okay. Now I'll just take my resin here. And let me get... A little dotting tool to hold this down. I'm just going to take a small drop and just go over the surface. It's almost like painting uh, with your resin, with the UV resin. So I'm just, you know, just spreading this all around. Just a thin coat. Because I don't want it to be too thick because then it will take a little bit longer to uh, cure. And it'll be tacky. So now that I've put the coat of the UV resin. I'm just going to put it under the light here and allow that to cure. It's probably about a minute, but I'm going to let this go until the light actually goes off. So that's the fun I've been having, just experimenting with different um, molds and different um, uh, materials just to create something just a little bit different and while that's doing this thing um, these are some of the little letters that I did with that mold and then I'll show you real quick on that one so bring that up close And it's dry. And so that's how you can just utilize all the different little uh, wood, actually the die cut words, anything in this type of material, you can do that with. So just try it. I think you'll, you'll enjoy it. So this is one I did. Um, for the little seahorse and that's what it looked like before and then I did one differently with the seashell and I just use some of my glitter that I have and just spread the UV resin on there and then just sprinkled it with the glitter so that's just a little fun project that you can do all right, so now, moving on, I'm going to jump right into this haul and share with you what I got for some resin projects. So I went to Hobby Lobby probably about a week ago, I guess it was, and I went over in the baking section, and I got this pie crust mold. But I looked at it and I saw the trim on here and I thought I can utilize that in my resin 
or in my polymer clay. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, I also got the two of these. Now these are these little molds here. They're real f sort of flat. I guess it might be about a fourth of an inch. But these uh, are in the baking section. And these are the silicone candy molds. So, obviously, I'm not going to be using these for candies. But I'm going to be using these for my wax seals and for my resin. So, this one comes in like little floral color, or floral shapes. The sunflower, different little rose here. So, I thought that that would be pretty cool. And then this one comes in the little seals of Fleur de Lis. Another one here. An oval. And then this shape. So that's going to be fun. And then I also picked up this fondant mold. And this comes in the uh, palm leaf here. So... That's going to go with my beach theme as well. And I'll probably be using the same technique that I use with the, filling this up with the uh, UV resin. And then using my colors to achieve these uh, leaves. And then also while I was in that uh, baking section... I saw the little beehive mold here. These are impression mats. And I'm not going to use the resin on this. I'm going to use these with my polymer clay so that I can make a mold. And I got some mold making. Um, let's see, where is this? Yeah. It's called... Uh, Amazing mold, amazing rubber, uh, mold rubber. And then this is what you do to pour, and then you can make your mold, and then you can use it to um, subsequently make other molds from that. So I'm going to try that with this. But first I'll do it with the polymer clay. So I thought that was cute. And then not mold related but some other things got some little uh treat bag tags because i want to put some stamps on here saying thank you and or for you or to and from and then they had the stickers on sale and i got these for they originally what 4.99 i got it for $1.24 so I thought this was cute. A little summer theme. I'm going to make some cards with this one. And then there was a Thanksgiving one. So I'm going to make a card with that. And then there was this beautiful flower. And so I'll use that as a um, card based as well. Or a topper, I should say. And then... I'm not sure. I don't think these these may have been 50% off. I believe they were. Yep. These were 50% off. And these are die cut stickers. And of course I love fall. So and sunflowers. So that's the pattern that you get in this one. Eight designs of three each. So I got that one. And then I got this one and that's fall related the pumpkin so that is my uh, haul from Hobby Lobby and my quick little um, demonstration of how I use the molds oh I forgot to show you this one I did this in the same manner too um, like here you'll see the G so all I did was I used my resin, poured it in the mold, dropped some color in there, 
drop some glitter and came out with these so try your molds have have some fun and if you have any questions just let me know keep them i'm gonna put them in the comment box below and i'll see you in another video take care everyone Bye bye